Hi again everybody, it's James from Retro Games Party. Tonight we're uh, going to do a bit of a repair job, or an upgrade job, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, my jammer cab behind us, uh, it's been long needing a little bit of a job doing on it with the speaker system. Um, it started life as a Video Master 2 with a Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 board in it. Uh, every sales has seen that on Jammer Plus, uh, and it's also been up on eBay for a little bit. Um, but there was one thing that just wasn't uh, finished on the cab, and that was to do with the sound. Uh, we had to sort of jam a pair of speak PC speakers into it. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is going to have a look at the cab, uh, see it playing, and then we're going to have a look at some kit and uh, do a little bit of a mod on uh, on the cab. So you can see the uh, my cab set up here. We've got Packland on there at the minute, uh, one of my favourite games. So let's uh, let's just give it a quick uh, quick blast. And you can see it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, to do with the uh, the joystick and the camera in the other end. Anyway, you get the idea. We've all seen Pac Lamb played. Anyway, let's uh, just have a quick look at something here. Okay, so we've quit Pac-Man because it was making a lot of noise. Um, and what we've got over here is obviously we've got the top marquee of the cab. And it looks like anything, any other cab that you've ever had and everything. And if you look under there, there's actually a speaker grill and everything, just the same as there is in uh, any other Video Master 2 cabinet, etc, etc. What Video Master Deluxe have had this ID as. So but, uh, this is what we had to do uh, to get sound into the thing using, uh, using Jammer. So if I take that out, you'll see that there's two speakers jammed in there and there's the original speaker and we're going to get the original speaker to work on a JPEG harness. Um, loads of you out there don't know whether you know how to do this or not, I've had this suggested to me by a member of Jammer Plus, which is a great forum if you're into cabinet conversions or arcade collecting in any way, shape or form, you should definitely give them a try, that's jammerplus.co.uk. Um, okay, so um, let's go take a look at the, at the kit. So what we've got over here then is we've got a pair of speakers. Uh, this was this is a solution uh, that was suggested to me by Steve Arcade on Gemma Plus. Um, I was looking for a solution where I could uh, get a like a circuit board that I could build up and you know add a small amplifier on it, you know that kind of thing, because your PC voltage that comes out from your main board um, isn't high enough. Uh, to power the speaker that's up in the top of the cab. So you need something to drive it with, so you need a small amp. And there's plenty of project kits out there, but this is like the absolute best solution I think has been invented. So what we've got here is a couple of powered speakers. Uh, these came from Maplin, total cost of about $7.99. Uh, and uh, you can hear, or they're, they're plugged in via uh, a USB socket on the side there. And What's interesting about them is they're not actual USB compliant devices, it is literally just drawing the power from the USB 5 volt straight out the side of your laptop or your PC or whatever. And then you've obviously got your um, your green cable, your green plug, which goes to the speakers. So here's, um, here's what they sound like, let's just uh, hit play. Tell so that's uh, that's pretty pants. This is the same quality through, but we don't really care about that. We're gonna um, uh, we're gonna rip the amp out of them, and we're gonna make that into a project box, uh, which I've suggested as well by Steve. And um, here's a little project box that we're gonna put it into. Uh, we're gonna put a little rotary knob on the front of that box and make that onto the uh, the baseboard in the back of the cabinet. So um, let's unbox the uh, let's unbox the the speakers. Let's decase them and see where we go from there. Okay, so uh, once you've uncased the speaker you'll, and desoldered, you're going to be left with uh, the front plate there and the back casing for the main primary speaker. You're going to also have the right hand speaker, which you're just not going to need. Um, but then you get left with this little circuit board here, which uh, has got a volume control on and some um, output terminals, input terminals, and then over this side we've got input for 5 volts, which is what's coming from the uh, from the laptop or from the PC. Um, basically we've had to desolder it, this has not been cleaned up yet, just for anybody who's a purist. Um, 
and what we're going to do now is we're going to look at mounting this into the project box which is this little baby here uh, again suggested to me by Steve this is uh, a, a type 3 project box and it's got the great little mounting holes uh, to the left and to the right um, and that will hopefully will just sort of screw downwards into the uh, baseboard that everything's mounted onto which will keep the thing together and what we'll have is the volume knob up here. I'm going to also have got drill another little hole for the um, uh, for the LED to poke through just uh, a little bit. Um, let's see how we get on. Let's let's do some holes and do uh, do a test fitting. So uh, here's the the finished article. Uh, we've got uh, project box. We've got wires coming out. I've even managed to uh, make a little hole for the LED to pop through, and we've got a. A rotary switch on the top of it. So underneath, we'll just have a quick look at, uh, at the mess. Um, I am not the world's foremost expert on soldering. I have done the best as I possibly can, and there are no connections touching. And I didn't burn the PCB in the process. So uh, there we are. We've got cables coming in. Uh, the board's sort of balancing uh, on uh, on the weight of the uh, the nut that's holding down the the little nut under there that's holding the uh, the rotary knob below uh, to the uh, sorry the uh, the pot to the underside of the um, project box, and I've stuck a little bit of a wire tie in there just to uh, keep the cables in place and try to uh, tie them off. So uh, let's go fit it to the cab. I've tested it all the way through. I've had it plugged back into the laptop, powers up and everything, absolutely no problems, and it played out through one of the spare speakers that was over there, and I've actually chopped the wire off. And thread that on. I'm going to strip that back and actually poke that into the JPack board on the uh, the audio terminals. I'm only hooked up um, again as Steve Arcade suggested to the L terminal on the PCB because uh, well they're all mono anyway, so it won't really matter. Okay, so let's go. Let's get the uh, the jammer board out and uh, let's uh, let's let's have a look. Let's let's fit the thing in. And there we are. Uh, one. Sound module fitted into my uh, jammer baseboard. Uh, my sorry, MAME. I do apologise, everybody. MAME baseboard uh, that fits in my Video Master 2 cab. Uh, I haven't really done a tour of this one yet. I promised I was going to do a different video, but since we've got the out, uh, JPack board, uh, drive, way over spec drive, I think it's like 500 gigs now, but everything loads off the network. Uh, P2, oh, sorry. Core 2 Duo 2.4 gig. I've uh, got a, uh, an RK VGA 2 PCIe X16 card hooked up through to the JPack. And there's our new, uh, our new sound board, our new sound amp. PSU, if anybody's got a better way of sticking a PSU down, please let me know. Basically, it's a couple of L brackets, um, bolstered all the way around it. Um, at the back there, uh, you've got two more L brackets going to the natural holes that the the, uh, the power supply has. And then we put two L brackets either side and then just basically wire tied it down. There must be a better way of doing that. But um, until then, anyway, let's uh, let's get the baseboard uh, back into the cab and let's fire it up and hear it play. Well, there we have it. We've got the, uh, the we've got the board back in the cabinet. Everything's fired up and everything seems to be working absolutely fantastically. I'll just put a quick credit on there. You can tell it's at no volume at the minute. I'll drop the front of the board down. There's the, the volume control. And we'll press start. And you can hear the volume. And off. And on. And I've also made it so that this is actually accessible with the coin door. Just about grabbable if you know where it is, you can get at it and you can turn it up and down without having to drop down the front panel. Which I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of repair work. Some of the screws along here are starting to come adrift. Uh, I think it's been opened up one or two many times. Anyway, drop that off. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please post on the forum or um, at the bottom. Uh, try and get back to you. So, enjoy.